welcome to Tacoma Traveler. I'm Jen. Great to have you along. Um, as you can see, we're on a uh, interesting mountain road in Virginia, headed towards Crabtree Falls, and hopefully the location where we'll be camping tonight. This will be the last night of a six-night camping trip that I've been on, so this will be the last video wrapping that trip up. Got a little bit left to show y'all, and I, I thought I'd show you this road a little bit because it's kind of crazy. Um, I mean, it's kind of getting used to these now. I've been out here on these kind of roads so much, but anyway, I think it's going to get a little more interesting as we try to get even more up into uh, up into the forest to find us uh, find our uh, camping spot for tonight. All right. So we've got about four miles on this road that we're getting ready to turn on and our GPS is telling us that it's going to take about 20 minutes. So if you see the sign, notice, road not recommended for vehicles beyond this point, four wheel drive only. Well, we are going to go ahead and put it in four wheel drive and see what happens. Telling me it's going to take... 20 minutes to drive four miles tells me that this might be a little bit of a serious kind of road but right now it's starting off fairly easy I'll uh, get back with you if anything interesting happens miles to go. I'm going to show you this one from inside. There seems to be a little bit of a drop off here. And there we go. I did not feel like getting my feet wet to get across there and show you me crossing that. But that was kind of cool. My second stream crossing. Redeeming myself a little bit from the video many, many videos back where I chickened out on a stream crossing. Remember that one? Uh, that was about that was at Switzer Lake. Yeah, it chickened right out. There's no sense in it. But uh, now I just did two. Uh, got my stream crossings under my belt. All right, here we go. How much more do we have? We've got 2.3 miles more left to go. the toughest road I've been on but I think my confidence is getting better too because I mean I would have liked it to be a little smoother but I also felt like yeah I got this that was kind of fun let's go explore some so if y'all watched my last video the one right before this one uh, you know I hiked like eight miles today and I got a little, a little sweaty and gross so uh I don't have proper swimmer yet, but um, yeah, we're gonna get cleaned up a little bit. Maybe if I try to get used to it a little. Ooh, cold. Uh, let's see. Maybe, maybe like, maybe like. Oh, ooh, that's cold. Oh. Just breathe. Just breathe. Okay. 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 Get used to it. Ooh, get used to it. Um. Okay. Got to get more wet. Gotta get into this water a little bit more. Maybe, maybe right here. Maybe if I, maybe here. No, no, over here. 
Yeah. Over here. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, I'm down. And I'm done. <gasps> So cold. Well, that was super quick. <laughs> but I think it did the trick. And even if it didn't get me completely clean, which in all reality, it probably didn't. I, uh, I, I feel like I got, ah, baptized. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Oh, okay. All in fresh clothes. Feeling. Feeling good. So, I fought all this way to get down here. And now I'm thinking I'm going to go back a little bit. I did pass some, some actual legit, like, um, campsites. Um, dispersed campsites. Uh, you know, with the little notice, 14 days only kind of thing. So, um, they're good. I was going to stay right, right here in this parking lot. And, um... There's even this little fire ring. Makeshift. Yeah, there it is. Kind of thing. But the sign says, uh, there's a sign that says no no campfires in the parking lot. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think anybody would come down here. I don't think it would bother anybody. But since there are legit spots a little farther up, I think I'm going to go try to hit one. Plus, that'll make my uh, travel out on this road a little shorter in the morning. Alright, so we're going to go hit this road again. ourselves a spot but um there are bugs lots so first priority before i do anything else is get a fire going a bit of a smoky fire going to keep the bugs away next priority some food in my belly sat by my fire on the last night in the mountains watching the sun slowly make its way down behind the horizon I thought both about how fast this trip had gone how fast the time had flown but also how deeply I had been able to savor every single experience that I'd been able to have morning in the mountains looks like.
So how uh, apropos is it that on my um, last night of my 50th birthday camping trip, I am leaving my camp on top of a hill and going over the hill. Yeah. Trying to show you all a little more of the road this morning than I did last night. I showed you a little bit last night. Man, you just gotta ease it, ease it, ease it, and uh, really watch the road a little bit. Uh, it's nice in this morning light. So I'm getting a real early start this morning. For, even for me, it's, it's 7 a.m. I've already made my coffee, broken camp, and I'm on the road technically on the road, although I'm crawling. Um, I've got a long drive today. I've got like six hours on the road. Um, and I didn't want to get home late after a long trip because I want to get the truck unpacked and all that mess. So, getting an early start. Um, but I do have one more thing that I want to show you all before I point the truck home that I, I feel like might be kind of pretty. And getting out this early with this pretty morning light I think it might be really nice. We get to go over stream again. <laughs> I did have to give it some gas there a little bit. It wanted to it wanted to bog down just a little bit in there. But it all went well. Stream crossing number two. Whoa. Done. Oh, look at this. Look at this little tiny car up here. Oh my goodness, they're putting me to shame. Look at this. I couldn't tell. I couldn't. I, I hadn't seen him back, you know, back farther along the road. So maybe he got up this far and decided to turn around there in that little spot. There's a little pull off there. I don't know. But he got that little tiny car up here. I mean, we're, we're pretty close to the to the main road now, but still. Even to turn on this road in that little tiny car when it says four-wheel drive suggested or whatever required or I don't know what it says, how it words it at the beginning, but basically says, uh, yeah, be careful on this road. He brought that car up there. That's pretty cool. Well, that is it. All that is left now is to point the truck home and drive for quite a while. I'm glad I have that time, though, to kind of just think back on the trip and all the experiences I had and just enjoy enjoy the slow re-entry into normal, regular life. Ah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to throw a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. 
and uh, stay tuned for all that uh, this 50th year has yet in store for me. See you next time.